Hi, my name is Murti. Today I like to give some tips how to achieve this type of uh, clean strumming patterns basically. And uh, in guitar learning and if, if you wanted to be a guitarist or you wanted to play guitars, um, like you can't escape the strummings basically. So this is one of the very important element in guitar playing, right? So suppose a band is there, there will be a rhythm guitar player basically, right? Uh, that's the difference for um, for other instruments and guitar. So you can play chords in pianos and uh, like a keyboard synthesizers and all, but it won't be that rhythmic compared to the guitar. In guitar, you can use rhythms also, and you can use a different type of progressions, and it sounds very very different according to me. So uh, achieving this type of a clean, uh, lighter strumming like, is very very important. And this is for again uh, for beginner to intermediate level of students to achieve this type of a clean strum you may have to focus on very very tiniest things also like the way you are holding peak and what type of peak you are using onwards everything. So for example right now I am using 0.5 mm because I decided to play very lighter strokes like if I have to achieve that, of course, the common sense I have to use like very, um, very lowest mm peaks like 0.4 mm or 5 mm. And my recommendation, like if you are a beginner, try to use little rubbery kind of a materials in picks, because if you are strumming for long period, your pick can slightly move and you may feel insecure when you are playing. So the rubbery kind of materials can give a better grip basically, and it's completely individual if you are comfortable whatever picks like you can use but I recommend little low mm picks when you are uh, choosing for the lighter strummings actually and the way you have to hold pick is something is like you should not hold pick very closer to the point and I I hold very close to this tip point when I play melodies basically <laughs> So because like when I'm holding very close when I'm playing a uh, single like single melodies kind of a things like it can give a good strength for me and good grip for me but when I'm playing chords why I, uh, I recommend like little backside like of the pick like this kind of a fat portion I recommend to hold why because when you're holding this backside like you have this much of space here to contact the string so it is it is a little bit easy when you are strumming and the pick will slant very comfortably and it will slit little comfortably. If you hold very close, it can be slightly mess when you are brushing. So it can be slightly rough compared to like this. So this is the very very important tip I, uh, I tell for the beginners the way how to hold pick when, you're str when you want to strum a lighter kind of a things. So after that you must have to hold little lighter your pick it's not like too tight manner if you are holding very tight like it can impact on the stroke basically so you should not hold like very tight and not very loose also that it will slip and fall right so you should hold for example i'm holding a pick something like that that's it so i'm holding this much grip not more harder or not more um, lighter basically for this type of strummings if you're holding very definitely if you're holding very tighter it can impact on the stroke then you must have to see your right hand how you are moving uh, when you're moving right hand like many many times i observe uh, beginners like they'll make very tight this part and brush like this this is not the way so you must have to keep your wrist very very uh, loose and you have to make like a very free fall like that and uh, the movement should be like like your hand also should move and your wrist part also should be moved it's not like only um, hand movement uh, when you're going to the higher level kind of rhythms like your wrist movement can be more for example so your wrist movement can be more actually but for the basic 
kind of a strumming patterns i don't recommend to move only this kind of a thing because it's it can be little hard for you to maintain like a clean slit of uh, tone to achieve like if you if you if you move little a wider stroke it can be more better than moving just like this for that you need to move your hand also and you have to move your wrist also very basically you have to keep your wrist very freely that's what the point here and how the way you have to contact the strings also very important we should not uh, we should not try to hit it like very hard like this so we have to open our ears basically like how you're contacting strings it should be little lighter and your first goal have to be like you must have to hit very evenly and very balancedly on the strings and try to achieve try to achieve like a single slit of stroke single slit of stroke means like uh, try not to do like brush like this see it sounds very odd right try to hit like this basically you should try to get like a single note not like a multiple brush like this okay so um, there'll be a lot difference if you do for example i'll take one rhythm and uh, i'll try to play like both ways you can you can identify that if i'm brushing like very clear very close here see it sounds little mess right now you see i'm more little wider See how how clear it is my every stroke so uh, if you are a beginner like I definitely recommend you to uh, move wider strokes and try to make your wrist very free it's very 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 important mostly people don't focus on these things and I've seen people who play for years also they don't adopt these things and they still try to brush you really hard like this so you have to check yourself like how well you are trying to balance uh, your pick and strings actually and your hand movement also and one of the common troubleshoot what I see from beginners is they don't hit strings like very evenly and some some people like they feel uh, comfortable downstroke but when it comes to the upstroke they feel difficult uh, basically you need to sit and practice for hitting all strings with the same priority like for example like if you are hitting uh, upstroke it should not be like only bass parts are covering more something like uh, no it should be see how much difference it is so uh, you should try to uh, try to give the stroke all strings very evenly yes it takes time if you are very very beginner it takes time but definitely you can achieve if you are trying to remember these points when you're practicing and for upstroke like uh, many people they, they'll try to give only no right and here one more small technique is like i'm not holding my pick very strictly it's not like i'm not brushing uh, like this and like that when i am giving the downstroke i'm just angling myself little like this to pass strings comfortably and when i'm i'm giving the upstroke i'm slightly changing my uh, pick angle and trying to make move little comfortable like this if you are doing like this definitely uh, it can create kind of a chaos kind of a sound like no if you closely observe like i'm I'm just tilting my pick like this and trying to uh, give the equal type of a volume between all stroke strings. So uh, this may take a little time, but uh, please keep it in mind and open your ears when you are practicing. Don't only focus on right hand or something. You have to listen basically how it sounds. And as I said, this pendulum technique is very, very important. So what is pendulum technique? as i've told you this movement when you are doing like see it looks like a pendulum like a clock pendulum right 
uh, there are so many benefits by this uh, pendulum technique so when you are doing that as i told uh, that the slit can be very comfortable and if you're doing close like it can sound a little mess that's one of the thing and another thing when you wanted to create a new rhythms when you wanted to uh, uh, when you wanted to make uh, different type of probabilities rhythms in uh, up to eighth note levels actually this technique can help a lot in my next video i'll try to explain how to create uh, different kind of rhythms using this pendulum technique basically and there are different types of strummings actually so till now what i've showed and explained like a clean light strummings and balanced strumming right but when you wanted to show uh, sometimes some cause like more more like a blow like for example see i blow right at the beginning stroke so these are different these also must have to happen like with very controlledly actually and there are different type of strokes for example if i'm playing like a double stops kind of a stroke so uh, this type this type of uh, uh, hitting is different or if I am playing power chords for example so this type of um, hitting is very different right so uh, if you are a beginner like try to focus first to achieve this kind of a clean single slit hitting actually this is the most important according to me and once you are achieving these things you can slowly adopt other things comfortably and I hope I uh, covered most of techniques uh, with my experience, what I felt so far. I hope this will definitely help you when you're practicing. And please like, share and subscribe our channel so I can do more contents like this. And try to comment if you have any doubts and if you want me to uh, discuss any later topics or something. Thank you so much.